So my name is Ewan Spencer, and uh, we've got the luxury of uh, having with us tonight Prince Rapid, um, from uh, originally from a crew from Bow uh, down the road in East London uh, called Rough Squad. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a, a potted history about my um, what I do, what I do with my time, and I'm going to go right back to um, the late '90s. Um, I graduated from um, the art school in Brighton, the School of Art and Design uh, in Brighton, uh, where I'd, I'd escaped Newcastle, got as far away as possible from the northeast, uh, down to um, the, uh, the sort of liberal middle class echo chamber of Brighton by the sea, which is uh, where I've been residing for 20 years. I'm obviously quite happy with it. So but, um, let me have a little look here. So open mic is a, um, a project I made um, in 2000, but I printed in 2005, which is a photographic project. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. What do you call it? So in, a, in um, I graduated from university in 2000, uh, sorry, 1997, 98, and uh, well, I started working for style magazines. Does anyone remember magazines before the internet? We used to look at these things made of A4 sort of sheets of paper that were printed with information about different sort of uh, uh, cultural events. And uh, I started making pictures around um, uh, something called the, uh, the UK garage scene which was based down in South London, um, for me, in a place called uh, Twice As Nice, which was um, a, a fucking banging disco. It was very, very good. Now, I'm, 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 I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got a, a confession. I'm a, I'm a lifelong solely, and I, I grew up on soul music, and um, it's never really left me. I've got a sickness, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a malaise uh, for, for buying ridiculously small little pieces of plastic from the United States um, called records and they cost far too much money and they put an awful lot of pressure on my uh, personal life. But uh, I've got a, a, a huge love of um, the enjoyment they bring me. Um, going to my first UK garage um, event was like uh, a continuation of the soul scene for me. It was a very exciting time. So. Um, Twice as nice and the UK garage scene was very much about uh, the dance floor. Um, it was, a, a, for me, something that I immediately recognized as um, a scene or a movement that encapsulated everything that interested me about British subcultures, if you like. So it was a state of, if you like, grace under pressure. So it was, it was kind of like clean living under difficult circumstances. It was people coming from what at the time was quite a dull, quite boring kind of nightlife. The clubbing scene had just, it was, we were talking like 10 years after Acid House had happened. People were quite, um, I'd like to say, cerebrally quite sort of flabby about going out. So they didn't really give a fuck about how they looked. They were in, you saw sort of guys just, in very tatty kind of clothes and <laughs> just being quite sort of loved up and there was some pretty bad cheap drugs around and it was a bit bit messy. It was the kind of the age of the super club. I don't know if you remember those, the idea of a super club, which was, which was for me pretty obnoxious. So th this, this particular place attracted um, a smart crowd. And the first thing I noticed about it was that nobody was at the bar. I could get served for a drink straight away, which is good being from the northeast of England. And, but, but everybody was dancing. Nobody was sitting down. Nobody was at the bar. Everybody was moving. And if you didn't move, you looked like an idiot. So it, I was making pictures. It was, quite, uh, it was quite a difficult sort of situation trying to make pictures, but moving around a very, very busy dance floor. But for me, it was a, a fantastic experience. And I, I spent about three to four years um, I'm slightly obsessive um, about vinyl and soul music and making pictures. So I spent about three or four years making pictures around uh, the garage scene, going to different clubs. I traveled to Aya Napa, and I took a great interest in the, the culture of it, what people were wearing, why they were wearing certain things, 
how the sort of style and the tunes and the whole scene itself was developing and moving forwards. So these are some of the pictures from that time. I'm explaining a little bit about the garage scene because it's leading me into, um, this is the book I made, a little plug, about the uh, garage scene called UKG that came out um, last year, um, published by Ghost Books. It leads us on to open mic. The garage scene became quite overground. It was less of a subculture. It was less about smaller little clubs. It started venturing into the super clubs uh, such as Ministry, um, Misery for Your Pounds, Ministry of Sounds. <laughs> See what I did there? See that? And it, it, it became something a little bit sort of cynical and it became a little bit um, overwrought, a little bit kind of overdone, a little bit diluted for me uh, because I'm cool and I don't like that sort of thing. And so I decided to, I was looking for something a little bit different and I was working with um, some people at that time who were working with some young MCs young um, guys uh, rapping from Bo. There's something about Bo. There's something in the water in E3. Uh, it's produced probably some of the best contemporary musicians and lyricists of our time in our country. It's quite odd to think just down the road there, the amount of people that have come out of it, and some great footballers as well. I've just been talking about that. So this picture was made in Romford, in a youth centre, in about 19, uh, sorry, not 19, in 2003. So I'd moved on, I'd started making pictures in what I'd, I'd, I'd discovered to be this new scene um, that didn't have a name at this time, it wasn't really called anything, there was no one really uh, asking me for these pictures at that time in the press. It was, uh, it was quite an exciting time. It was a very energetic time. And I found the music, I found it at that time, quite unlistenable. And I didn't like it at all. And I, I was spending my time in youth centers listening to people like Rabbit, listening to his music. And I just thought, fuck in hell. This, what is this about? What are they listening to? But uh, obviously, I got, my, it wasn't, Basically, my point being, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me, it was for a younger generation. I was a 32-year-old bloke living in the echo chamber of uh, uh, middle-class liberal kind of uh, ideas in Brighton. And uh, I was you know, planting myself in a world that was probably a bit more similar to the place I'd grown up um, in uh, as a teenager in Newcastle. So there's something biographical about it also in terms of that. See, these are some of the pictures from that project. I'm going to race through some of these because I can see time's getting tight, and I really want to get on to introducing uh, what Prince Rap is going to do for us this evening. I've got a little surprise for you. So these were made between 2002 between two, and 2005, 2006. This, was, this project was published as a book. Uh, I self-published the project. Um, and I made a second edition after I made a short film last year for Channel 4 under the same name, Open Mic. I turned the book from 2005 into a film um, a decade later. You can get it on the internet. It's amazing. 22 minutes long. It's a lot of fun. Do you recognize any of these guys? Really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course I do. <laughs> this is Jammer in his basement in Leytonstone, which is where a lot of music was made at that time. It's a legendary basement. This is in Wilsdon. This is a guy called Ghetto and Kano. This is in Limehouse. Yeah, Limehouse. <laughs> Poplar. Poplar. That's where my mum's from, seriously. Yeah, Poplar. yeah. yeah good is she Poplar. in that estate in Limehouse? Yeah. Say it again. Is she from that estate in Limehouse, yeah, the Limehouse estate? Yeah. Uh, one minute away from yeah. there, just a little shop's cost cutters. The cost cutters down yeah. the road there, yep. yeah. To get my Ribena from there. After yeah. seeing her. And this is, this, is a, this is Open Mic Volume 2. This is the latest edition. I'll stop plugging it. And this is a little taster.
So that's a little, little taster of the film that you can go and watch on the internet. It's called Open Mic. I'd like you to watch it. Um, I've got a website as well. It's incredible. You can go and look at my pictures on the website. And I'd like to introduce uh, Prince Rabbit. He's going to show us... I think we're going to switch over to his desktop now. And what you're going to do is, are you going to break down the different components yeah, of, gonna, of one yeah. of your tracks? Is it a recent track, this, or is it an old yeah, track? Yeah, this is a recent track that I've um, called the Pepper Rhythm and um, exploded onto the um, underground scene maybe, I'd say, a month ago with a UK artist named Chipmunk. He actually used it as um, a war dub, and in this culture, um, a lot of the MCs and the rappers, um, they confront each other, not using violence, but they speak through the music using wax. So this was a track that I made using Logic and I've just bounced off the stems and I'm just gonna play it for you um, part by part, starting with the kick drum. So this is how I would compose a gram song, a gram beat, okay? And we're gonna start with the kick. So when I get into the studio, I would naturally start with the, the kick drum. That's what would give me um, a, good, a great start. And then I'll try and match it with um, a very nice kick. Hello everyone, this is um, one of my partners, Dirty Danger. He's a, Hello, um, people. He's a great producer that I've been producing with as a kid. So, so next, what would we do? We'd probably add a what? snare. Yeah, add a little hi-hat, little snare. Then we might add some hats. And another, and another set of hats. So this is grand music at its finest. Yeah? And then when I've got the drum made and, 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 and the bass of the drum, I was then start adding maybe some strings. Do you like it? Yeah! And then maybe some bass. Cool! Rochi. Are you going to give him a pass? We've got some brass. Sounds like the beat's in full swing right now, Rapid. And now the, now the beat is in full swing. This is Graham at its finest. And then what we do after that is maybe get some MCs to come through and explore. Let's, Let's go. All right. All right, Hornsy Town Hall, how you feeling come tonight? Come through, come through, step on. We've got myself, Rochi, and this is Dirty Danger. Look. When Grime hit China, my God, you see the scene, the riots. They didn't know what it was, but they liked it. You don't need your five a day, you need a Grime hit. Look, dressed in my Grime attire, done a show in Africa. People started hyping. The lions and tigers were fighting. Because I'm the Royal Highness of the Grime yeah. scene. In Thailand, they love the violence. I've had a couple of tweets from Somali pirates. I'm from the UK, the birthplace of Grime. Wiley, Dizzy and Tinti Strider. Yeah. When the Caribbean heard Grime, they started whining. Pull it up, rewind this. The Russians are all rushing to buy this. I've even got the Aborigines excited. Yeah. Living that last on the edge, hanging on by the skin of my teeth with the light to see go low to the bottom of red. When I live the last, so I live like should have been ice. I'll never have to think twice, cause I think ice. wise. No one the next page is kid coming, but I know when it lands, it's gonna, gonna be, be nice. nice. Come and rise us, then despise us to the country where they shouldn't like us. Never never been another crew just like, like us. us. In the hood, but they still wanna fight us. Fight A big change from track suits to black suits. suits. We inspiration for the black youths. It's motivation through that truth. Yeah, look, yeah, shit be sound of the future. future. Something that you better get used to. You, you don't really know who you are. I've got the crowd on my side like who are. are. Man, them blocks be in the new, new car. car. I'm on a bus, start tip like who are. are. Make a man go mad with a shooter. Shoot bus one in the air. Booyah, 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 boom, booyah. booyah. Like I'm letting those shots say, oh yeah. I'm a music man, let me school ya. I'm a make a broke man to a baller. We're feeling them fly, that's cooler. cooler. Make the money get taller. taller. Been here since smaller. No half, no quarter. Big start, me to move your active members only. We were the only members active. 
Carefully handpicked by some of East London's hardest black kids. Knew them Hackney Tower Hamlets. Yeah, we were way above average, so now average Joe is a has been. And we're getting things crack a lack in this road. Dirt, rapid madness. I don't feel they ready for what's happening. The grimy flows are unattractive, and the lyrical abilities are madness. Storing ammo in the attic, the big 45, can you handle it? My brother, my niggas are really out here. Well, them little man are still lapping. Yeah. Bad man, watch who you talk, how you pull bad man. Couldn't give a fuck what you pull bad man, and I couldn't give a fuck what you pull bad man. So many man wanna be a bad man till they see a real bad man do bad man. Don't let me come off the edge, bad man, cause my mic look up your head, bad man. Yeah. Uh, bad man, watch how you talk, how you walk, bad man. Couldn't give a fuck what you pull, bad man. And I couldn't give a fuck who you pull, bad man. So many man wanna be a bad man till they see a real bad man do bad man. Don't let me come off the edge, bad man. Man, man might lick off your head, bad man. man. I rep G R I M E. Do a little stage show, get a little P. Bring a little record out, get a little G. Grind with the grind that works for me. Done with the old school H and G. R and B, nah, that's not me. Straight up, raggedy rough MC. What them a call? What them a call me? Did a D I R R T Y? Dedicated to Y D I E. Put my finger in the P.I.E. But for the real to use the D.I.C. And I, one of them boys should have eat. Man, I'm gonna pack your head to your knee. Anything goes for the for your B. Better just know who you know where you be. Jumped off the spaceship, walking through the hood like the man in the Matrix. These people are crazy if they believe Earth is amazing. I wouldn't want to trade places. But if you want to jump on the wavelength, well, the haze is strawberry flavoured. Best I've ever tasted, which may explain the straight behaviour. Head, shoulders and knees with holes. Headshot season, everybody goes. Not knock as anybody home, no, nope. head gone from ages ago. Blazing the crown, well, made him a ghost. That's what you see, man, blazing the crow. Rain, sleet, sun, snow, when it's headshot season, aim for the dome. Please stay away from the road. Not a safe place, stay away from the road. Metal in my hand when I'm chasing the bloke. Fed trying to make the way through the smoke. I ain't getting paid for the show. Back out the thing till the wages are shown. Blood, sounds kind of crazy, I know. One or two ladies are blazing the crow. Opinions, I take them in. I'm here for the crowd, I'm catering. Uh. Because I do music, please don't think it's a joke. Every day I'm laboring. The aim is to get the paper in without getting a major in. Ten years in front of the mother, I know I can't see. I think that my eyes need laser in. I'm far from a perfect human being. Uh. Faith in the Lord, even though I can't see him. Uh. Life for me is improving. I remember when it went downhill that like skiing. Ready for war like I step in the Coliseum. That's what the artist by putting up a language barrier when I put tree in. GH Blackstar, not of Caribbean. Opinions, I take them in. I'm here for the fans. I'm catering because I do music. Please don't think it's a joke. Every day I'm laboring. The aim is to get the paper in without getting a major in. Ten hey. years in front of the mother I never can't hey. see. I think that my eyes need laser in. Hey. I'm far from a perfect human being. being. Faith in the Lord, even though I can't see, see him. him. Life for me is improving. I remember when I went downhill like skiing. Ready for war like a step in the Coliseum. Hey. That's what the artist by putting up a language barrier when I put tree in. GH Bucks are that with the Watch the way we profile. Hey, don't never rock best style. Hey, I can put the all freestyle. Hey, Hey, we start rhythm in that big pile. Hey, watch the way we profile. Hey, the number rock best style. Hey, I can put all freestyle. Hey, we start rhythm in that big pile. Yeah, uh, big boys in the country. Yeah, uh, big, big boys, boys in, in the, the country. Yeah, big boys in the country. The whole nation already stay that side. We got that side. Stay that side. We got that side. Stay that side. We got back side. Are you my end on your back side? Yeah. Uh. Did you like that? <laughs> Peace and love. Thank you very much. And everyone, thank you for listening. That's just a little snippet of grime. Yes. That's, um, that's, that's grime music, everybody. Um, if you like where that's coming from, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow me. I'm, I'm Prince Rapid. That's Twitter. My name is Dirty Danger. You can follow me on Twitter, Dirty Danger. I've got an album coming out called King David soon. So make sure you just follow me and watch my videos and stuff. And you can catch me at Roach Material. Thanks for having us, guys. Thank Love. you. Got you.